Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a fall hair and makeup look that I usually like to do in the fall time, so keep watching to find out. I start off with my uh, Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser to prime my face before I put on any foundation. Um, normally I don't prime my face, but during the fall and winter time, the air gets kind of dry so it messes with it. After that, I like to put on my liquid foundation. I use the um, L'Oreal Lumi foundation, and you can use any liquid foundation or whatever your normal routine is, powder, whatever works for you. And then I just blot that all over my face with my um, beauty blender, get it all over, get all the, you know, all the acne and all the little spots. Sorry about the yellowish light in here. Um, my bathroom is very yellow, and I have learned that now. So more of the videos will definitely not be in my bathroom. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and, you know, of course, got to get my eyebrow pencil ready. And go ahead and fill in your eyebrows. I like to fill mine in with the um, TG Bedhead pencil, and I like them very precise, so that's why I use a pencil. I feel like I have a little more control on there. I then decided to use my Maybelline Color Tattoo in the Pomegranate Punk and I put that as sort of as a primer all over my um, my eyelid and it's a very pretty berry maroon color and I think it helps because when you put on any type of um, darker burgundy eyeshadow on top of it, it helps it stick a lot better. I just used this plum color from the um, Urban Decay Electric Palette. I didn't show that in here, but it is, I don't remember the name, but it was a uh, plum color. You can use any purple. I also decided to use this Maybelline um, Eye Studio Palette with this bedhead um, whiter color on the inside of the eyes. And then I just used this lighter pink on the outside, and then I blended it in with the um, darker maroon. Like I said, you can use any of the maroons or any pinks that you have with you. You don't have to necessarily use those. I then blended the white into the inner part of the eye and then I took it up onto the brow bone and then obviously blend that in very well because the more light you see then you can obviously see that it looks kind of funky when it's not blended in but make sure you blend that in. I like to use a bigger fluffy brush instead of a blending crease brush. I just feel like it grabs more. I then put some um, concealer on the inside <clears throat> underneath of my eyes and I winged it up towards the top to kind of create that perfect seamless line with the eyeshadow. And then I just blended that in with a foundation brush. I then used some bronzer to kind of contour my face a little bit, but I didn't realize that I put way too much on, so it was crazy, and then shadows just did not help that, but I promise it did not turn that out that dark. At the end, I did correct it a little bit. I then used my Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. This stuff is awesome because it helps clear away acne while it's still on your face, which I think is really awesome for a powder to do. Um, and I just put that all over my, um, the top of the primer, the top of the um, bronzer, all over the top of that, and then just blended that in everywhere. I also used my MAC Mineralized Blush in the color Gentle. It has a blue base, so it works really good with my skin tone, and then I just put that on for my blush. And then I went ahead and lined my eyes. Um, but I used this new e.l.f. Um, eyeliner in Plum, but it looks kind of brown and it still looked super dark on top of um, 
on top of my eyes because it, I mean, it didn't even look like it wasn't black. It still looks black, but I'm getting used to it. I like it. I think it looks okay. I then went ahead and used my um, lip liner from Maybelline and Plum, and then I used a nude um, creme sheen from MAC, and I put that on my lips, and it came out with this like pearly, purpley pink color that I really fell in love with. And that is my look for you guys. So hopefully you love the makeup. Try it out. Send me pictures. Tell me to make. And then with my hair, I all I did was braid the top of it and pull it over to the side. And then it was just a simple fall look from there. I think braids are very pretty and very easy to do with not doing a whole lot. If you don't know how to braid, it's super simple. Um, but I think it makes it look like you tried really hard when you really did. And that's all for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll have more videos coming to you soon. Bye.